Hello everyone, here is the draft website I have created using Elementor as you can see it has everything your website should have, basically. You can see the header, the footer, the buttons and of course it looks amazing. And especially you can also create it with just 5 minutes of practice after watching my detailed video tutorial and sure, it's all free. Let's go today I am gonna show you how to create a website like this, exactly like this you can see it here on mobile mode tablet or PC and of course it is for free and we got a using free hello Elementor theme let's go to my dashboard at the moment I have a fresh installed of WordPress if you wonder why is it then it because of we need a domain name a hosting and install WordPress to create our website I'm using a local host you can see the link here it's because I'm sharing to you how to make your own website for free of course you can do it with your hosting pack you have bought your I have a blank page template here and we gonna make it done right now let's go. I'm going to add new theme, in appearance. To add hello theme, we click on add new. And I will search up here a theme called hello Elementor. Here, install my theme and then activate it, where you will have the menu, about contact and services or anything like this go to menu and we're going to name this to be main menu so this is basically going to be the menu that is going to have our website item so we are going to create a custom menu and we will be using the custom link so our website is going to have the home about services and contact so we come back over here and I'm going to come to my home page copy this URL come here to the custom links add my URL add the pound sign and add home then I'll use the link text to be home that we are already here so now we have our created custom link this one over here next we are going to put the about link but remember to add a pound sign down here Add the link text next what we are going to do but remember to add a pound sign down here add the link text next. What we are going to do is to add the own sign about we are going to add down here is services. And lastly we are going to add the contact link plus pound sign and then contact in small cups link text is contact add to menu. So the main menu has been created. Home, About, Services, Contact. Once that is done we are going to come here straight to the plugins. And we are going to add a new plugin. And we are going to add a plugin called Elementor. Because Elementor is a page view that we are going to be using. Elementor is a page view that enables us to build up everything here. Once is installed simply activate. Next what we are going to do is we are going to come back still to plugins. And we are going to add another plugin. So the plugin we're going to add is called Header Footer Blocks. It was made by Astra. Next we are going to add another plugin. And this is the last plugin that we are going to need plugins called Envato Elements. Envato Elements brings us pre-made amazing templates. For Elementor for headers, footers and page sections. That we can use in our Elementor website for free. Once it is installed we simply activate. Next we are going to do is simply come over here to appearance come to header, footer builder. Now we are going to make the other plugin header footer blocks. To use so we simply create a new header, we are going to name this header. And we are going to select the header as a type of template. And we want it to display on the entire website. And that's all. Simply now publish. We have our first header. Next we are going to come back here. Add new. And then we are going to create a footer template. We are going to select this to be our footer. And we want it to appear on the entire website. OK. So we simply publish. Now we are going to first come back here to the Envato Elements plugin. And we are going to activate that plugin. Click to connect Elements account. Click to free template kits. Here are a lot of free templates for us to choose. They are all free templates. However, you see, they are very diverse, and very professionally designed. Now I'm going to come back here to our appearance header footer builder. 
and we are going to select our header. I'll open it up in a new tab. And I'm going to edit this with Elementor. Once we open it with Elementor, then it will be in position actually to have this option here for the Envato elements. So we're going to select the Envato widget. Come two blocks over here. Come to the header. We are going to look up for our header we are using. Which is this over here. So I simply add a block. This block is going to be used as our for the template in our header of our website. Our header template shows up. Now I can simply do some editing. Now we have our header right here. We can change website name to Ed Sharing. OK and you can also change the logo over here. And switch to the logo that you want to use as your website logo. I don't want to go into that I'll just simply leave it to the default one. You can customize the sections in the header. I'm going to come here to the styles, I'm going to come to the topography and I'm going to reduce the font weight. You see we have home, about, services and contact in the main menu that we have created. We have here is the button. You can also customize the text inside the button. Change size. And align the text position. This button head to you can make this to go on a specific landing page or another website or whatever you want. For example, I'm going to link this to my Facebook. And I'll make sure that this link actually opens up in the new tab. OK, that's all so. If you want to change the text color and sharing, I'm going to come here to the styles. I'm going to come to the text color. You can also make other changes like changing the background color and you can give it the color that you want but I want to leave it to be white click update so we are now finished editing our header so when we come back to our home page we are going to reload this now I'm going to exit this come back over here we are going to exit to the dashboard and we are going to come back to appearance header footer builder and we are going to open up our footer template then we will open up this with Elementor. Then you have to come over here to the Envato widget come to blocks. And we are going to go to the footer blocks. We are going to look up for our footer we are using. So I simply add a block. Our footer a template shows up. Now I can simply do some editing. You can change the text over here you can edit everything in this section. You can also add icons by choosing from Icon Library. I'm going to link this to my Facebook. And I'll make sure that this link actually opens up in a new tab. You can do the same with the other sections. OK. That's all so. But if you want to give you the background, you simply select the whole section come to style. And you can give this a background color something like that. I simply click update. Now what I'm going to do is simply update our footer doesn't have a background. Then we are going to come back to our home page. And now we are going to reload. Oh see, now we have our footer on our website. Next, in our face. What we are going to do is now we go to exit the footer template. We are going to come to pages and we see all pages. Now we don't have any page. In this case you want to create a new page. And this is going to be the home page. So publish. Next what I'm going to do is to come over here to settings, reading settings. And I'm going to set our home page as a static page. So select a page and I simply save. Once I save and then I come over here and I reload. Realize that now our archives page is going to change and it will show the home page. Now we're going to go back to our reading settings. Come to pages, all pages, and then we are going to edit our home page. And we will edit this home page with Elementor. Now we are going to come here to Envato widget. And we come over here to the template section. There are both premium templates and free templates here. 
but I'm interested in their free templates which are way down here. So once your templates show up over here, now Envato makes you really amazing templates. You can simply import them into your WordPress website. Now when I come over here to my template section, I'm going to select this home page too. And when you look at it over here, it has everything that we want. Now when I update this, then I come over here to our home page. See now, before we never had anything on our home page. Now when I reload this section for when I reload our home page, now we have a complete home page that we have created for our WordPress website. Now, everything over here was imported. You see, all these see all this over here and all the sections over here. When I click on the about section, I don't got tagged about section. And when I click on the contact, I'm not taken right down there to the contact section. Now when we come back to our home page, we can make a couple of settings. How do we do that? Of course when we come over here to the home section, I want to name the first section the home. So when I select the first section come to advanced, come down here to CSS ID and simply named it home. Remember to click update. And I'm going to reload our home page. When I click on home, I got tagged home section and we are going to move right to the section where I want to enable our services. Come to advanced and want to make this section our services section so that when someone clicks from our header, they are automatically taken to our service sections. Now for the about section, I'm going to come over here to the section I want whenever us are about. Come to advanced and I'm going to make it to be about. Next, we are going to set up our contact section. So when I come to this section, select advanced, and I can say contact. Now what I have to do is simply update, and I'm going to reload our home page. We are going to reload this. I click on home, I go to the home section. When I click on the about section, I exactly got tagged about section. When I click on services, we exactly go to the services section. And when I click on the contact, I'm taken right down there to the contact section. When someone clicks on this button automatically should be able to take them to a new tab. That's how you can create a website for free, using the Hello theme from Elementor, and using all other resources, and blocks for free in your website. If you like this tutorial then, comment in my videos and, subscribe to my channel to get the, notification in the next tutorials. Thank you for your time.